Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm going to show you my version of beef soup, okay? And with this, there's a lot of um, ingredients that I have to use with this. So I've added the beef to the pressure cooker and to that I will add my peppers. I have two pimentos cut in half, one scotch bonnet pepper cut in half with the seeds, all right, because we want that soup a little flavorful, okay? And I have washed, let's see, half cup of dal, okay, with quarter cup of black eyes, right? It's a mixture of the beans. If you want, you can add red beans to this mix or a black beans to this mix or the green split peas to this mix. Okay, that's just to get the soup a little um, with a nice consistency. And to that, I have here some garlic. Okay, so I'm just gonna add in some, not all. I'm going to add in about one, two, three, four, about five cloves of garlic. Okay, because we want that soup to be, let's say, for your immune system. Okay, to boost up that. And to that, I have here my green seasoning so I'm going to the beef is seasoned already but I'm just going to add in an extra full tablespoon okay of that and to that mix I'm going to add in some onions so I have some finely sliced onions here that I'm going to dump in there and I also have here some tomatoes, okay, that I just cut, sliced, all right, and to that I have some sliced sweet peppers that goes in as well. Now if you're making a stew or stew beef, this is the way, it's just you have to leave out the beans, okay and it will be soft and nice from the pressure cooker. And to that, I'll add my water. So to that, I'll add my water here. Okay, just to cover it. Or it could be more because it's soup, so you're gonna need that liquid anyways, right? Just give it a slight mix. Now the beef is seasoned with that same green seasoning, okay, with the bandana, the pimentos, the garlic, celery, sive, all right, and salt and black pepper. I have one more thing to add in this. So this is what I like to use in my soups, okay, it's this brand, I don't have the box for it, and it's the onions soup mix, okay, this is what you can use with your roast beef or your fries, okay, this is what it looks like, I'll show you, I'll empty it here first and show you what it looks like, okay. It has the onions and the powders of different spices, okay? So just dump that in there, give that a mix. So this is my first step to the beef soup, okay? After this has been pressure cooked, I'll show you the next step. And we'll take it from there. So I'm going to put up this and, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to peel up my edos, my sweet potato and my pumpkins and carrots and prepare those stuff. So the beef has finished, okay, and I'll check it and show you. See, I'm sure that's soft and all the beans are soft. So I'm going to check the meat and see that beans is soft and out. I 
and the meat is soft as well too. And all that dal and sweet peppers and onions is melted out. So I'll show you the next step now. Okay, so now I have here um, two tablespoons of oil to this pot that's hot and I add my my carrots, my pumpkins, the green fig, two potato, add all with that in it. I'll add some green seasoning. One tablespoon of green system. And then I'll add my my some hot water. And I'm gonna let that come to a boil until that provision. The water is hot so it will dissolve out and when that comes to a boil and this is cooked I'll add in my beef mixture to the pot and everything will come together. So now that it has cooked and almost to be soft, I'm going to add in that beef mixture to it. I'm 
some These are the long ones, so you just break them up fine. as long as it goes through really really good you'll know it's cooked okay the figs are cooked as well too the okras are cooked too just smush about two pieces of okra three pieces of the okra to the side of the pot so those seeds let out the flavors will come out Lots of chunks of meat in here. Okay. A nice pot of soup on a rainy day. 